Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you the Milwaukee 6 ton M18 knockout kit. This is a pretty neat little kit and uh, I've been able to use it for about a month or two and it is quite the time saver. So let's go over what, what we've got here. In the kit it comes with the battery charger, one of the uh, lithium batteries, We've got the driver we've got draw studs here some quick connects right here and then we've got our knockouts from half inch all the way up to two inch and if you guys can see they went ahead and and marked these for us so it's a real quick easy look and you can see right away that all right this one's the half inch or if you got an apprentice that doesn't know the doesn't know the trade size yet, or able to look at it, um, he's able to go go grab a knockout, and we can move on with the with the job. So let me get set up and show you guys how easy this is to uh, cut some steel. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up in the two different applications for the half inch holes. All you're going to need is to install the draw stud here into the tool. Put your sleeve on and then put your die in there right like that. Pretty simple. Take it off. Now this is where this is where this tool really shines. What we're going to do is put the quick connect coupler in here then you take your draw stud and if you notice I don't know if you guys can see this or not but Milwaukee's gone ahead and put directions on you put the punch on this side and the tool on this side so you don't get your draw stud backwards so you go ahead and install that Put this little locking sleeve on the tool itself and if you notice it's just a pull and a release and it locks in. Then you go ahead, spin it around, put your draw stud in here, put your sleeve here, put your die here. And if you were to want to switch sizes all you have to do is grab you another one put another sleeve here and your die here so let me get some metal set up and we will show you how quick and easy this is to punch some holes all right I've got my metal already kind of prepped and laid out I've got some pilot holes already drilled out up to the uh, half inch just to show you guys how quick and easy this is come in here screw the die on Line up your lines on the sleeve. They did an excellent job of making them pretty pronounced so you you can square up your holes and pull the trigger. Done. So let me punch these real these other two out real quick. This is 16 gauge steel. So let me get a release, press release on this, make sure it's snugged up all the way. The release button is right here where my left thumb is. Go ahead and engage it and go. Done. Release. Out come that. Off comes this and I don't know if you guys can see this or not but I'm off on my on my lines right here my pilot hole is off to the right which was done intentionally so I can show you how well you can you can fix it with these uh, these pronounced lines that are in these sleeves so we go here line up our lines 
like so. Go ahead and engage. Boom. Release. Now this one we're changing all tooling. So we're taking out the half inch. Going with the quick connect coupling. Sleeve. We already have our draw stud set up. Go ahead and turn it and lock that draw stud in. Make sure your, your tool has been released. Slide your one inch sleeve here, one inch die. Get that die cinched up. I think the longest part of the process is doing this right here, getting this die cinched up tight. Lines are lined up. Pull the trigger. And done. So as you can see, this this tool is a time saver. Um, I'll put a video in of us cutting some stainless steel in a panel. I believe it's a three quarter inch hole we're knocking out, four or five of them. And you'll be able to see how how quick and easy it is to knock these holes out in no time flat. Thanks again for watching and always be safe out there. If you like what you see, leave me a like or subscribe or give me a comment on any type of tool you'd like to see me try to review and work or any suggestions on any other tools that maybe you guys like. Um, again, be safe out there.